The blue ribbon on Joel Schweitzer's lapel is for a family friend. This family friend, Hirsch Goldberg Polin, maimed in a grenade attack and still among the scores of hostages taken by Hamas on October 7th. It is very personal. And this is personal too. The American Jewish Committee's anti-Semitism in America report that shows since that day and all the bloody days since that 63% of American Jews feel less safe now than they did a year ago. This is part of our world now. Evident in incidents like this, the recent graffiti at the home of Dallas City Councilwoman Kara Mendelson. Understand that we all need to roll up our sleeves together to fight the conspiratorial scourge that is anti-Semitism. But the regional director of the American Jewish Committee realizes this is also a reality. Hate crimes against Muslims on the rise too. Zachariah Dorr stabbed in Austin. Swung it around. He, he wanted to kill. So in Dallas, a coalition of Muslim and Jewish leaders is fighting both. Our, our coalition realizes that many of us have strong opinions about what's happening uh, in the Middle East, but we also have lives together in the same community right here in North Texas and, and that we have, to, we have to be able to get along over here. But in a long list of numbers showing anti-Semitism on the rise in America, Joel Schweitzer also sees hope that nine out of 10 Americans recognize it isn't a problem just for Jewish Americans to solve alone. That it is a whole of society problem that mandates a whole of society response. A response North Texas leaders will keep searching for as battles, misery, and heartbreak wage on. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.